I wanna talk about one tool that has completely changed the way that I edit my photos in Photoshop. I'm talking about the patch tool. Let's get in and look at it right now. Okay, so we're in Photoshop 2022 and we want to kind of clean up this photo. Now I have brought in a couple photos here from a recent wedding that I shot when I was in St. Pete's, Florida. And what I want to do is I want to show you how easy and quick this patch tool is and how amazing it is. Uh, everybody knows about the spot healing tool and the clone stamp, but what if I told you there was an even quicker way to get better color matched cleanup? What I want to do is I want to create a new layer and we're going to use the spot or the patch tool. First thing is this is an awesome photo, but this big blue junk over here just drives me crazy. The sign that was on here, I think it was like a you know, clean up your trash sign or something like that. But it's an eyesore in this photo and I want to get rid of it. And how do you do it? Most of the time you would go in here and you would do this brushing of the spot healing and it's going to do a good job. It looks fine. But sometimes it does struggle with that. And what can you do? Well, then it, then what you do is you grab the stamp tool. And you select an area. And then you start painting over. And as you can see, that can get funky too. Let me uh, soften this brush here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Soften. There we go. So I'm going to select this and see what's happening is it's actually just moving it over. And you come into problems like this all the time where, yeah, if I was taking more time, I could get it done and it looks fine, but there's still another way that I've found. Let me show you what you do is you go here by the bandage, the uh, spot healing, right click, go down here and hit patch. Now what we're going to do we're going to actually select this area here. So get nice and tight to it. This is the area that you don't want. Select that area. Now all you have to do, click and drag that to an area that you do want to use. Hold it. Find that spot so it looks good, looks natural. Let go. And boom. Look at that. That simple. Click and drag. It color matches it for you, and that's the important part that spot healing doesn't do. Uh, it doesn't color match for you. It just kind of chooses an area and goes with that. You know, let's let's get rid of this railing here. Let's just drag it up. Boom. Color match. You see how that color matches it when I drag that in? Now, there's a little spot right here that I might want to touch up by just doing the same thing. And boom, color matched. Another one right here. Bring it down. Boom. Color matched. See how easy that is now? You're getting rid of all these little distractions. Let's go another one. Let's go this guy right here. Draw a circle around him. Bring it over. Boom. He's gone. Let's get rid of this one. Drag it over. Boom. Gone. Get rid of this one. Boom. Gone. Boom. Gone. Look at all of those are gone. Just like that. It's so simple to get rid of stuff when you're using this patch tool. Let me show you another example. Here's another photo. Great photo right after they got done getting married. This drives me crazy. This one stick that does not need to be there. And that's basically what this patch tool I use it for. Is these little tweaks to clean up the environment. Or get rid of a logo on a shirt. Stuff like that. We can get rid of all this little stuff that takes your photo from being a great photo to an epic photo is getting rid of all this little junk that doesn't need to be there. Being mindful of all the little stuff that really doesn't need to be in the photo. And by taking it out, you're just making your photo that much better. Yeah, the photo was great prior to it. I mean, this is a great photo. But now this is almost perfect. I mean, Look how easy this is to get rid of this stuff. And just like that, you have a good photo. This is a great photo. Wouldn't be a problem hanging it on a canvas. But now just look at this. Just doing those couple extra steps, taking three minutes 
you get rid of all of those, those distractions, you're completely changing the way this photo looks. I got one more example here for you. So this is a candid from that night. Nothing special. Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, they, uh, the sisters uh, and the daughter, uh, Jenna, and they wanted a photo together. So what I did is I took a quick photo. Mom had something spilled on her dress because it was later in the evening. Drinks had been had. Uh, and we were outside and on a rooftop and yeah, you know, they were having fun, but drinks were spilled. I don't think mom realized that. So I I have no problem cleaning it up. Now I believe in trying to get the best possible photo out of camera, but there are instances like this and like those other things where you just can't do it. So what we're going to do is create a new layer. I always create a new layer and we're going to grab that patch tool. We're going to zoom in a little bit on this spot here that mom has spilled on herself and we're going to get nice and close to it drag around it let's actually hold it in shift and add this little part right here too whoops there we go and now what we're going to do because there's a crease right here we're going to find another spot with a crease and try to get it to match up as close as possible so that's probably about as close as we're going to get. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, I don't like the way that that one lays. This one's about as close. And let go. Color matched. Look at that. Now we can come back in here and get rid of this one by just dragging down to here. And then what we probably want to do is get or try to try to blend this in a little bit. See how we could do that. Try to make the line look like it's attached. So there we go. And now let's get rid of a couple of these other little spots here. There's a spot. There's a spot. There's a spot. Now these might not actually be spots. Might just be the way that the light is hitting them. Like up here. I don't think this is a spot. Nonetheless, I still want to get rid of it. Could be a little dirt on the sensor too. We were on the beach all day. Zoom out. Let me look at this here. Another spot down here. And there you go. So you go from a photo that looks like this to a photo that looks like this by just using the patch tool. I could even go up here and get rid of this blue distracting light right here by just dragging over. A little bit bigger. Dragging over. Now that distracting light is out of there. Even if this light is distracting you, drag a box around, come up here. There you go. This little, uh, probably spilled gum or something on the deck here. Uh, this little dirt. And this little guy right here. Now look at your photo before and look at your photo after and how much of a difference that makes. I'm telling you, this 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 patch tool, it's revolutionary. It's it's, it's going to change the way that I that I do everything, especially in the little fine detail cleanup. It's great for acne, it's great for color blemishes, stuff like that. Let's let's see here. Does she have acne on her face here? She's got a little spot on her nose. Let's see if we can uh, fix that for her. So the good thing is, is I can drag down here, just get some smooth skin, and it's going to color match it for me. So there's that red spot gone on her nose. So that's the patch tool. Like I said, it has completely changed the way that I edit my photos and do the little cleanup details. I hope this video helped you. If it did, please remember to hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.